Thank you, we're glad you enjoyed it. Mr. Ken Pierce, Prince, I'm sorry, composer of that tune. Milton Suggs, our bassist. Ari Brown, our tenor. Mr. Duke Payne. Oh, we like to bring Mr. Duke Payne to the mic, playing, <coughs> excuse me, playing bagpipes, along with Mr. Ari Brown, and a tune he calls Piping the Blues.
Thank you. That was Duke Payne on bagpipes. Ari Brown, Milton Suggs. Uh, we like to call to the mic now a young man that's been singing around the Chicago area for a while. And he has an album that's coming out in a, oh, two weeks, I believe. So we'd like to bring him out here and let him express himself. This is what it's all about. <laughs> and you all out there expressing yourself. We like that. Thank you very much. So we like to call to the mic now Mr. Louva Rashid. Telegram and read it, and into my brain you done fed it. You're taking me, it's plain to see. But here's some advice, baby, take it. You're much better off if you make it. Still enough love, better shake it. If I'm the guy caught your eye every hour of the day, you look for me to pass your way. Better believe that I'm not what you need Girl, your way past your speed Ain't no wrong, I can't see So go on your way, lady, hurry A cat for you somewhere, don't you worry You wanna call me, well, you needn't Don't waste your time, save your dime Today, play it on She way better do it, lady, better pay
your telegram and read it And into my brain you done fed it You're taking me plain to the sea Well, here's some advice, lady, take it You're much better off if you make it Just fill it up, love, better shake it If I'm the guy caught your eye And every hour of the day You look for me to pass your way You better believe that I'm not what you need Girl, you wave at your speed So go on, I need So go on your way, lady, hurry A cat for you somewhere, don't you worry You wanna call me, well, you need me Don't waste your time, save your dime 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 Thank you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. That's a tune from the album. That's Thelonious Monk. Lyrics by Chicago's own Mendai's son. We'd like to do another tune for the, from the album for you, entitled Oh, What a World. This tune was written by Ari Bryant. Is a raging, running wild, a raping and robbing, killing seems to stop. Oh, what a world we're living in, or is it just these times? Oh, what a world we're living in, or is it just these times? Cigarettes they say are harmful to hell Yet they're the biggest sellers on the shelf Them and their favorite friends Wine, whiskey, vodka and gin Politicians lying from coast to coast Causing you and I to suffer the most Oh, what a world we're living in Or is it just these times? Oh, what a world we're living in Or is it just these times? What a world we're living in. Children 
been all around the world Save the babies uh-huh. Oh, what a world What a world Something a little different. We must be conscious. Thank you. We like to do something by the train, John Cole train. This tune is on the album also. It's entitled Impressions.
about ten of them came to town and called the train. Hey, people, he became world renowned. With his musical tones, is known as she sound. Tone, minor long. Every time he plays, the people say, go on, train and blow. The spring was his message to you. Heed our words, who've been heard, have we gotten through? With impressions of train, hope they remain. Impressions of train, father, make them remain. John Coltrane, 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 John Coltrane. John Cole. Hey, that really was a dynamite set, and we've just been joined by the, uh, well, we will be joined in just a moment by Robert Shy. He's a very fine drummer, and he's a guy that uh, I admire a great deal. We played uh, on the same concert on the South Shore a couple of weeks ago, and I got to hear him in another context. And boy, he just gets better each time I hear him. But a moment with uh, Robert Shy right here uh, backstage. Hey, we, we, I really enjoyed that. That, that piano player is dynamite, man. Ken, uh, Ken Prince can play. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. thanks a lot. Yeah, he's, he and I have been playing together oh, for the last seven years at the most, eight years at the most. Uh-huh. You, you know, just before you went on, you were telling me that you're not playing uh, but a couple of nights a week. You should be working eight nights a week the way you play, man. It's <laughs> sounds beautiful. Yeah, thanks a lot. I don't get a chance to touch my instrument that much. Uh, like, I haven't worked in the last two weeks. And because I've been driving a semi-tractor trailer. <laughs> a semi-tractor trailer. Listen, you got to get out from behind the wheel and get back behind the drums. That sounded really exciting. I, uh, the rhythm section particularly impressed me. It's a very tight rhythm section. Milton Suggs and the three of you really hook right up. That's, that was very exciting. Yeah, well, thanks. We've been playing together as, uh, well, as a unit oh, off and on about a year. Uh-huh. Where do you, where do you play? Well, we mostly have been playing over at the Chances Are over in Hyde Park. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll be over there the 19th of September. Are you doing any recording? No, we haven't had a chance to record as yet. Well, I'm sure after people hear this broadcast, you'll start getting some offers because uh, both as a trio and as a quintet, you really have something very unusual. I like the bagpipe sound. <laughs> it me out. <laughs> yeah, Duke has been playing those for, I guess, about five years or better. Uh-huh. And tonight I was trying to, like, let everybody play and then show the trio side and then show the quintet side and then uh -huh. show the vocal side and, as you say, let everybody express themselves. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, this is uh, it's so different from what you did out in, on the South Shore at the at the festival out there a couple of weeks ago. It's an afternoon thing and it's yeah, a different right. kind of yeah. a family gathering out yeah. there. Yeah, that was fun. And this activity out here, this is fun. Uh, you know, Very responsive you, audience. Right. The people, you, you, you know, people really appreciate it, you know, and so they radiate their joy, and we try to radiate our joy back, and it's just communication, because that's what the whole music thing is all about, is communicating with, with people. Well, you know, to, as a leader of the group, when you put to, together a group, uh, two saxophones is not the ordinary combination, with one playing soprano and the other playing tenor. How'd you come up with that? Well, we had been working together, and uh, it was just a sound, I thought, maybe with two tenors, and each of them doubling. Right. On a different instrument, because Duke also plays uh, soprano. Right. And so, like, we have other tunes in the book that they can alternate and they can play harmony on. So you got a lot of different things going. Yeah, right. We're yeah. going to uh, jump down to Neil Tessa for a moment, and I think he has uh, someone who can tell us a little more about that. <laughs> okay. I think that uh, my guest down here in the Musician's Lounge can certainly tell you about bagpipes, because he's Duke Payne, who plays saxophone and bagpipes with Robert Chai's group that we just heard. Duke, uh, what exactly inspired you or... Uh, forced you or, or got you onto the bagpipes in the first place? Well, this goes back some years when we were working at the Hungry Eye, myself with Odell Brown and the organizers. And it's a particular garage on Cedric that uh, housed, uh, you know, uh, housed cars 
It's on Cedric Avenue there, right. down the south side of Chicago. Right. And this particular afternoon, I heard a strange sound coming from up on the third level. So inquisitive, my, myself, I went upstairs and I found this old gentleman playing some bagpipes, and he was playing something like a spiritual. There wasn't the ordinary sound of bagpipes that you hear on the streets, you know. So uh, I inquired about him, inquired as to how they, you know, how he uh, operated them, just for about a 30 minutes talk, and, and it lingered on me on my mind. So to, uh, I happened to run them on a set at Sid Sherman's music store, and I, I bought them, and I went into the wood woodshed for about five or six years before I came out for trial and error, just learning how they operate. And from then on, you know, it's just been uh, me and the bagpipes. Thank you, Duke. An incredible sound, an interesting story.